Hey loves and welcome back to my channel it's ijoma here and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this beautiful two-piece that's a top and a ruched skirt so i don't know the name of the material i used for this but it's a bale material and i used three and half yards three and half i wanted to be on the safer side so i got three and a half though i didn't finish the three and a half already i have my normal skirt pattern just the normal skirt pattern this is the fabric it looks like accordion it is accordion but a stretchy accordion i have my basic skirt and i have my basic top and this top is just it's more like a crop top it is 18 inches you can see then for the skirt my skirt is long my skirt is a long skirt it is up to 44 inches and remember you will take out like one and a half for your half length for your band sorry then my hip i added extra one inch it's like the extra one inch is not seam allowance just normal one inch just to make the skirt free on your body now i will start cutting this skirt pattern that i have is what i will use to cut out both the front skirt and the basket but first off i'll cut out the basket i'll cut the back of my skirt and the back of this skirt has a slit and it has a zipper also so i have folded my fabric and i'll go ahead and place that skirt pattern on top and i will cut out adding 1.5 inch for my zipper there will be a zipper allowance then after cutting out this back the back of this skirt i will have to do slash and spread for the front i will have to do slash and spread for the front so that we can get a full ruch and then it will not affect the ruching will not affect the length of the front skirt that is the main reason why i want to do slash and spread for the front of this skirt now i've added 1.5 for my zipper allowance the next thing that i'm going to do is to slash and spread my paper you can see i have two pieces there now from the knee line i will start marking two two inches gap line like you can see from the knee line i'm marking these lines and they are like two two inches away from each other and i like labeling my paper in case one of them should get missing i will know the particular number that is missing so now after marking these lines i will fold my fabric i like slashing on my fabric because if you slash your paper on fabric you may not lose any piece of that paper but if you slash it before placing on the fabric, some of them may fall out and all that. So fold your fabric, then place your paper on top. After placing your paper on top, you will start slashing this paper. And remember that the slash and spread is stopping at the knee line. It's more stop at the knee line. From the knee line down is plain. The routine of this skirt started from the knee line up to the waistline. So you can see how I am slashing them. After slashing them, I'll start spreading. And for the spreading, they should be at least 2 inches away from each other. Not too much. At most, sorry. They should be at most 2 inches away from each other. So I am trying to spread my papers now. And for the spreading, they should be let's say two two inches away from each other you can see how i'm spreading it i don't want to spread too much so that my root will not be too heavy for my skirt now after spreading this i will cut the skirt and then the center front of this skirt will have a joining you should add at least one inch seam allowance at the center front or half an inch seam allowance and that allowance is where you are going to attach your drawstrings for the routine so not your knee so that whenever you get your knee you will know that your pleating will stop at the knee so after cutting out the side of my skirt i will cut the center and i told you guys i'll be adding extra one inch seam allowance at the center so the center front of this skirt will look like the center back both of them then we have opening at the center the only difference is that the back is 1.5 for zip allowance but this one is just one inch or half an inch for the drawstring for my routine now i'll remove my paper and i will close my allowance like the allowance that i added to the front of this skirt i will close the allowance and i will sew down to the full length but for the back i will stop somewhere so that the, the back can have a slit but for the slit you are joining but for the front you are joining down to the full length now i'll go ahead and cut out my front using my paper i will cut out the back and the front 
the back will have a zipper allowance the back of that top will have a zipper allowance though you can make it without adding zipper but the client that I'm making this particular dress for is not around she's far away so i'm adding a zipper in case so that it, she can easily wear it now after cutting the front i will use my front to cut out my back i'll go ahead and fold another fabric for my back and as you are cutting always find the stretchy part of your fabric you can use a non-stretchy material for this skirt actually and it will be very fine but the one i'm using is, is stretchy now I'll, i've placed my front on my back and i'll cut out the side the back neckline will not be deep as the front neckline the back neckline will just be one and a half inch deep and then you add like one inch or one and a half for your zipper allowance i will slash my zipper allowance open and that is it for the front now after doing this i'll cut out my sleeve my sleeve is just a normal short sleeve i you can decide to make it long you can decide to make it short then another thing on this dress is that it has a shoulder pad but i don't want to add the shoulder pad to my own i just want to add my normal sleeve without any shoulder pad now the length of my sleeve is eight inches plus two inches seam allowance and that is 10 and i will take my round sleeve measurements without adding any allowance because it has to be fitted this fabric is stretchy already so i'm not adding any allowance to that sleeve now after cutting i'll open up my sleeve so that you can see what i have there i have two sleeve just two pieces here a short sleeve so i'm trying to like trim them very well then i'll keep aside i'll hem the full length of this sleeve and i will shape the next thing that i'm going to do right now is to cut out the drawstrings that i will be using number one i will cut out the fabric that i will use to pipe my neckline this particular one is the one that i will use to pipe my neckline and i'm cutting from the stretchy side so i'll fold it like this and then i'll use it to pipe my neckline it is stretching it will be enough for my front neckline and for my back neckline now i'm trying to cut out the ones that we use for my drawstring and for the drawstrings i want to cut out from the side of the fabric that is not too stretchy so that when i'm dragging my strings when i'm dragging the rope it will not sear so i'll cut out from the non-stretchy part of that fabric now this one is for my band this skirt has a band and when i was showing you guys my skirt pattern i told you that i removed one and a half for my band my band is not wide if you check this skirt very well it has a a short band it is just one and a half if you want you can even make it one so this one is for my band and it is not too stretchy now i'll also cut out two pieces for my drawstrings number one this one is for number one drawstring and this second one is for the number two drawstring so after doing that you go ahead and fold now this is the front of my skirt and you can see i notched my knee and i have folded my drawstrings now the next thing that i'm going to do is to insert these drawstrings using my safety pin i will short insert my drawstring and i have run a stitch on the seam allowance to hold them down like after joining my center front, I ran a stitch on both sides to hold them down. Then I'll open up from the knee. You can see this opening is from the knee. From that knee, I will insert the number one drawstring. And after inserting the number one drawstring, you will drag it so that it will come out from the waistline. After coming out from the waistline, remember to pin it down at the knee so that it will not pull from there. Let's pin it down so that it will not pull from there. So after inserting this number one, you go ahead and insert number two. So this is the number two. And I'll insert it from the second opening. So after doing that, I'll use a pin to hold the two of them down there. And then I will stitch down. Then the next thing is that this rope that is coming out from the waistline, later you will have to force it so that it will come out from the right side of that skirt so now i am done running a stitch to hold down my drawstring i'll open from my half waistline i'll come down by like half an inch and i'll open this skirt from the right side if i open it from the right side i will pull out my drawstring from there i'll pull out my drawstrings from there 
because I will have to use the remaining half an inch to attach my band. You know, this skirt has a band. So I'm pulling out the second drawstring so that it will come out at the front. So now this is what we have. It is okay right now. The next thing that I'm going to do is to attach, to join my front skirt to the basket. You know that the back and the front are not equal. The front of this skirt is longer than the back. Because of the slash and spread that we did, the front of the skirt is longer than the back. So I will get the back of my skirt. This is the back of my skirt. I have closed my zipper allowance and you can see my slits. My slit is open. So I'll place the front of the skirt on it. I'll make sure that the two of them are equal at the full length first of all. And two of them are meeting at the knee line. After doing that, I'll pin the both of them down. Now, I am done pinning down. And then, from the knee upward, I still have excess allowance there. Then, I'll go ahead and gather. Like, from that knee, I'll pleat the remaining so that they will match. The front of the skirt is longer than the back of the skirt so i'll just go ahead and pin gather the two of them so the next thing that i'm going to do right now is to measure my waist to make sure that what i have there is okay then i will attach my band so i'm trying to make sure that the full length of the skirt and everything is okay and if you you can see that the the, the front skirt is like puffy so if you drag it you can see the lines it is giving now the beauty is in this routine so if you drag it you can see the beauty of the skirt right now so after doing that i will tie my rope i will attach my band and then i will sew around you can do, just do, attach your band with normal sewing you can see my band i'll just go ahead and fix my band and the zipper so i pinned my zipper allowance at the back i'll remove it before fixing my band and then after fixing this band i'll go ahead and insert my zipper now after doing that i will hem the full length of the skirt and that is it for the skirt the next thing now is the top and the top does not really have a lot going on there you can see my skirt it is really looking nice i'll just give it a little ironing because this fabric is stretchy you don't iron this type of fabric like that so the routine is up to you if you want to reach it more than this you can as well go ahead and drag it to be more gathered than this now over to the top i am done piping the neckline the front and the back neckline i'll go ahead and shape I'll shape the both of them. So after shaping the sides, I've hemmed the full length also. So now I'll just attach my sleeve. The top is just very simple. You don't really need to do too much. If you want to add your shoulder pad, you can go ahead and add your shoulder pad. But I am not adding. And that is the main reason why I'm trimming down this armhole a bit. So after trimming down the armhole, I will attach my sleeve and then my zipper and that will be all for this tutorial so guys registration for our online classes is ongoing we have so many online classes about 10 of them so if you want to register just drop a comment in the comment section and i will direct you on how to register our online classes are so detailed so, and also remember to follow me on instagram on facebook on tiktok at so with ijoma so now this is my top i am done fixing my sleeve and i'll attach my zipper for the boots of them and at the end of the day this is what i have i hope this tutorial is helpful and if you want to get tutorials like this do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified thank you all so much and see you in my next video bye